Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will learn about Progress Tracker in Excel. But before we begin, make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, let us imagine that you are the CEO of an IT company and you have taken up multiple projects. Let us imagine that you wish to keep track of all the projects. So, what if there was a tool which could keep track of all the projects in the form of a detailed visualization with the percentage in the form of a graph or a bar chart? Interesting, right? That's exactly what we are going to design today using Microsoft Excel. So, without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda that is, Progress Tracker in Excel. Now, to design a progress tracker in Excel, let us get back to the practical mode where we might have to use our Microsoft Excel. Now we are on the Microsoft Excel and we have taken some sample data to make things look simple. So here we are considering a set of students and their attendance percentage. So we will be using this particular data and design a progress tracker. Now let us try to increase the size of the cells. Now select all the cells in the attendance column. Now we have selected all the cells in the attendance column and in the toolbar select the home tab and inside the home tab you have styles group. Inside the styles group select conditional formatting and inside the conditional formatting option select new rule. So in the new rule we want to select the first option that is format all cells based on their values. Now here, you can see format style. Since we are trying to create a data bus, we need to select the option of data bus here. And under the data bar options, we have some more options on the drop down menu. So here in the type, select number. And the minimum number is zero. It is automatically stored here. And the maximum value is again a number and let us provide it as 1. Now here you can select the color for your bus. Now since we have already chosen green for all the column headers, let's choose blue. And select OK. Now here you can see that the values are being indicated using bar graphs right and you can also see the percentage values but we can make it look a little more better by shifting them to the left side and text could be given as white so that it's more uh, vibrant to look at and now we can also apply some conditional formatting onto these attendance columns so let us try to highlight the students having attendance less than 65 percent so highlight cell rules less than 65% attendance. With red color. Select OK. And there you go. You have the progress tracker right on your screen. And using the same principles, you can track the attendance for all the students and also you can apply some conditional formatting onto all your cells and highlight the ones which are not on the track. Now this is how you can implement progress trackers using Excel. With that, we have come to an end of this session on progress tracker in Excel. If you have any queries regarding the topics covered in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment sections below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.